Now to a developing story in Gwinnett County where rescuers found a woman dead inside her submerged vehicle in a creek. News of the grim discovery broke while we were live on the air on Channel 2 Action News at 4. Witnesses told Channel 2's Carrie Cavanaugh the woman ran off Harbin's Road and was swept downstream. And Carrie, crews are still trying to get that vehicle out of the creek. Efforts to pull this car out of the water began around 430. I can't tell you moments ago rescuers were able to take that woman's body out of the creek and load it onto a ambulance that was standing by. From this vantage point, we can't see how much further they have to go to drag that vehicle out, but they told us when they located it, it was completely underwater. Witnesses told 911 they saw the woman in her car go off Harbin's Road Monday afternoon, but they don't know why. At first, thick, muddy tire tracks were the only trace of the vehicle's path. The vehicle was found by our Swift Water team a little bit further down the river, and it was in the area where there was a lot of debris. The victim was found inside of the vehicle and was deceased. An unwanted outcome after rescuers braved strong currents searching Jackson Creek. It was just diving straight down into the, into the water. George Ruiz was driving by when he saw saw people pointing down the river and he stopped to help. There wasn't a whole lot I could do. I mean, I tried to jump in my truck and take it down the side to see if I could get out in front of it, but I, I, I got stuck right there and that, that's as far as I got. Another witness said it appeared the driver was trying to stop. She was like pressing the brakes to try to control the, the car. You saw the brake lights? Going. Yeah, the, the brake lights. But Alejandra Medina says at that point the vehicle was well downstream and quickly heading underwater. I don't know how, why she didn't like uh, came out the car because I think she was able to come out the car when she was like right there. Gwinnett County Swift Water Rescue first sent swimmers into the water, then they deployed a boat. Rescuers combed the creek with long poles until they eventually struck the car. It's really sad. It it's, it's a bad feeling, you know, I mean, somebody was in the vehicle. Now that the body has been recovered, we can imagine that the work to identify her and notify her family will begin. We'll remain on scene here and monitor the progress as they continue towing the vehicle out of Jackson Creek. We're live in Gwinnett County in Loburn. Carrie Cavanaugh, Channel 2 Action News.